Good morning, friends. How are we doing? I trust you are good. Happy weekend from here. Um, so quickly, I want to address something about jump results. Please, if you're with me, try to drop a comment for me in the comment section so I can know that at least someone is with me. So jump results came out last week and I've been seeing a lot of posts. A lot of posts. Okay, the report we got was that about 77% of the total population of students who wrote jump actually failed. By failed, it means they got below 200. Okay, and when I was reflecting on this matter, you know, at first too, I was like, wow, a lot of people got below 200. And, you know, we're trying to make a big deal out of it. I'm not saying it's not a big deal. I'm an educator. I encourage students to read. I hate mediocrity. I do not promote or encourage mediocrity. So, yes, I quite understand the importance of doing well or academic performance. I, I quite understand the, the importance of it. I want or desire or encourage students to do well in their academics. However, while I was reflecting on this thing, I had, you know, on the second thought, I had two um, so arising issues, which I would love to address. So I've been seeing many posts and people have been trying to um, associate the failure to a lot of things, especially social media. In as much as I don't want to dispute that social media actually has its own impact, I'm very sure that social media is not the only thing, is not the only factor that could have affected the students. So I want us to consider the fact that some of the students actually have certain home-related issues, home-related factors. In fact, when talking about home-related issues, there are, there are a lot of them. A lot of them that would have affected them so that is one consideration another consideration is the fact that see the fact that somebody got below 200 does not mean that is the end of that person's life it doesn't mean total failure or absolute failure because the truth is in the long run for those who are serious among them, among them they can actually pick up they can hit the ground running and still catch up okay so you see while i was reflecting i evaluated my own journey so far where i am today at least i'm one of the professional teachers around the world. I have been able to do one or two things for social impact. I have my NC, I have my first degree, I'm currently on my second degree, and I'm doing very well, okay? I have also pioneered organizations or foundations that help to promote certain social values. I founded an University Support Foundation, I founded Peace Enhancement Initiative, I'm into personal and career development. You know, I, I try to influence the younger generation to become a better version of themselves, to ensure that they're making impact, they are living a meaningful life. And I tell you, all of these, all of these things I have mentioned actually began from a jump score of 183. 183. That was 13 years ago. Yeah, 13 years ago. That was my score, 183. And because I didn't want to stay at home for another year in order to write jump again, and I knew I had the gift of teaching. I was very passionate about teaching. I was very passionate about imparting knowledge. I went straight into the College of Education and I started from there. So now the point is, this, this video is not about me. It's about reshaping our mindset. The, the truth is that, you see, this, the fact that somebody got below 200 does not mean that they cannot go far in life. I know that for Ross, there are certain courses we feel that, uh, they, that they are, they are like um, straight channels to blessings, straight channels to breakthrough, straight channels to um, success in life. But, well, I do not totally agree because wherever you find yourself, I mean, in any field you find yourself, as long as you can be diligent, you can be um, you can be current, you can be um, passionate about development, you can actually do well in that field. You can do very well. So the first issue is that the fact that somebody got very low or below 200 does not determine how far they can go in life. It doesn't. And the second thing is that that for many of them, that score, that score does not truly reflect their ability. It doesn't reflect their intelligence. I want you to remember that not all those who got below 200 are actually dollars. Not all of them are dull. Not all of them are unintelligent. Just that sometimes life happens. Life happens, the, the unexpected things happen to us, right? So it's possible that luck just didn't shine on some of them and they were unable to meet questions that they act more questions that they actually know. It happens, okay? That is one possibility. The other possibility is that some of them just have home-related issues, home-related factors that affected them. Some of them are, you know, self-sponsoring themselves. Some of them have issues, lack of stability in the home. Some of them have a lot of things, right? So I don't want you to believe or think that all those who got below 200, they actually, they are unserious. Um, they don't know what they want in life. They are not ready for life. Um, they, they cannot go far in life. You know, all those weird thoughts or perception. Please, I want us to take it out. I am very sure that there are some of them who are totally unserious. When it comes to academics, they are nothing to write home about, right? But I don't want us to generalize. I want us to avoid that generalization. There are some of them who are intelligent or who are, or let me say they are average and they are trying their best, but... It just happened this way. So what we can do now is to encourage them, is to tell them and let them know that they can actually become something better in life. 
they can even at this point they can still pick up their life my own advice is if you're a jam candidate who wrote this last jam and you got below 200 and you can see this video you can hear me you can if you think you don't want that score you don't want to go to uh, or you have a certain school in mind you have a particular course in mind and you're so convinced that that is what you want to do there is nothing bad in waiting to try again wait till next year to, to try again and this time around you want to put in more effort you want to read better you want to prepare better you want to dig deeper so that you can have a better result that is totally fine and if you're also listening to me and you have a score below 200 and you are you know you're able to get into a university with that score my advice is that you sh the, the moment you get into the school just hit the ground running from the very first day start from day one start from day one you can pick up your life i mean you can still catch up that is what i believe you can catch up i wasn't that, the fact that you got that score doesn't mean that you are the you are the bottom of the list no i do not believe that I'm speaking to those ones who are intelligent now. I'm speaking to those ones who actually know what they are doing. But life happened to them and they got that score. They got below 200. So I'm very sure you can pick up your life. Today, I'm cut out to becoming a master's older. And for all I know, I am not one of the bottom students, right? So that's jam score. Don't, don't define your life or your progress or your, your, your um, success level. Don't define it with that jam score. You can become better. If you're able to get into any school with that score, I don't know the school you have picked, but like I said first, if you have a certain school in mind and that jam score will not get you into that school, you can follow your heart. You can wait till next year to rewrite jam. For me, when I wrote jam 13 years ago, I just didn't want to stay at home because I love books, right? I love the book world. <laughs> so for me, yes, I was teaching in a primary school then just to, you know, while away time, but I just want to get back into that mood of reading, being in a school environment because I love school. I love books. So I said I was not going to stay to write another jam. I was going to use that same jam. So that was the, okay, I would have said I was the only jam I wrote. But I ended up writing another one, I think about three years after that. That's maybe three or four years after. That was after I was done with my NC. Okay, but that's by the way. What I'm saying is that the fact that you got below 200 or the fact that your child got below 200 does not mean it is an absolute failure. It's not an absolute failure. Don't, some, I have, I have said, it, said this over and over again. That jam score for some of them does not truly reflect their ability, does not reflect their intelligence. Life does happen to them. So please, while you analyze, I don't want us to get carried away by the noise. Oh, they failed, they failed, they failed, they failed. Even those who actually have, I mean, who had poorer scores <laughs> when they had their own jam. They, 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 they are part of those analyzing those results online. So please, let's not get carried away. Let's not get carried away. Let's ensure that while we look at the, this side of the result, let us not forget to look at the other side of, re of the result. The fact that there are many other factors that we may not know of that might have affected the student. The fact that for some of them, getting below 200 does not truly really reflect their ability. The fact that getting below 200 does not really define how far they can go in life. The fact that even with that 180 something, 190 something, they can still, they can still pick up their life. They can still hit the ground running when they get into school and still catch up. Let us consider all those things. Let us consider all those things. It is not everyone who got below 200 that is a dollar or that is not intelligent. Life just happened to them. Please, don't get me wrong. I'm not talking about everyone who got this poor score, right? I'm not, I'm not talking about everyone. I am very sure. I know that there are some students that are just, I don't want to, I don't want to dwell on that. I know there are students who are nothing close to being intelligent. They are nothing close to, um, you know, being zealous about academics. They just while away time and even those ones mm. see in some part of our country things are really going bad right things are really really going bad there are some children some students adolescents who really need they, they need mentorship they need mentorship because some of them have been sold out to frivolity they've been sold out to unimportant things they are majoring the minor and minoring the major they're not paying attention to what is important at the moment right they are taking many steps beyond where they should be they are getting themselves into getting involved in things that they should not be involved in as adolescents. So for them, they are totally distracted. They've been taken far away or farther away from academics or from education. So writing jam is just like a waste of time. I know there are students like that. So I'm not really talking about that category of students. I'm not talking about those ones. I'm talking about those who know what they are doing, but then they got this low score. I'm talking about those who have aspirations, those who, those who are diligent. But this life, this life of low score happened to them. Okay, I was saying something about those other students, that even those ones, they need mentorship. They need someone to, to reshape their mind, someone to guide them, to take them out of that world that they've sold themselves, themselves into and bring them back 
into the light of education and make them understand that education is very important. Education is very important. Okay. But those ones are not the focus for this video. The focus is on those who are diligent, who are doing all that they should do. They're trying their best, but some things are weighing them down at home or any other surrounding factors affecting them and hindering them from really doing well or really um, from displaying or expressing their true ability. Okay. So please, while we analyze jump results, remember to consider certain factors. Remember the things I have told you. Everything I do today, I'm going to repeat this, everything I do today, the level of success I have today, the achievements I have today, they all began from a jam score of 183. I hope this video encourages someone. I hope this video reshapes someone's mind. I hope this video challenges someone, especially those ones who are um, adults who are on Facebook or any other social media trying to analyze the failure and trying to make a big deal out of it or trying to generalize. Like I said, I am an educator. Please don't get me wrong. I am not promoting mediocrity. I am not promoting, um, I'm not promoting averageness. Okay. I'm not here to say students should keep doing poorly or they should keep, they should keep, they should keep being, um, how am I going to put it now? I'm not saying they should keep being on serious with their academics. No, I'm just saying that for this life that has happened to them, this current one we're talking about, it is not the end of life. They can actually become something great in life, even with that score. And I have given two options. You can wait to rewrite next year. And if you want to do that, you really need to prepare well so that you can have something better than what you have this year. And the second option is that you can actually go ahead. If you have picked a school that can take that school, go ahead. But I gave an advice that once you get into the school, you prepare your mind that you want to hit the ground running. Because for me, my performance through NC, my performance through first degree, and my current performance in my master's degree education does not reflect that I actually had 183 in my jump. Do you understand? So that jump score sometimes, for those who are serious and diligent, may not reflect the true ability, right? So that has happened. Put it behind you and face your front. Put it behind you and, and determine that you want, to, you want to do better. You want to do better. So you will want to put in a lot of effort from day one of gaining admission. You want to hit the ground running. You want to start, you want to start very well. You want to build a strong foundation. So please, a word is enough for your wise. I mean for the wise. The word is enough for the wise. I pray God will help you. God will help you. Whatever whatever option you have chosen, whether to rewrite next year or you want to go ahead, I pray God will lead you. God will lead you. He will direct you. And his light will shine on your path. Okay? Congratulations. I'm going to be saying congratulations to you because I do not see... For those who are serious, so please, <laughs> I keep repeating this. I know those I'm talking to. For those who are serious and diligent, congratulations to you. Congratulations in advance. I believe in you. I believe in you. I know you can do well. I know you can go far in life. I know you can have good success, but that will depend on your, on what you are determining to do from now on. If you determine to be diligent by the time you get to school, if you determine to um, put in a lot of effort, if you determine to, to get your hands on things that will improve you, then you'll be better. You'll be better, I believe. All right. Thank you so much. I hope this has helped you.